Hello everyone and welcome to Machine Learning and Large Language Model Tutorials. In this tutorial we explain how to install and run a quantized version of DeepSeq version 3 on a local computer with GPU and on Linux Ubuntu. To properly run and install DeepSeq version 3 we will build a LAMA CPP program from source with CUDA GPU support. Namely, we use llama.cpp since this program enables us to run different types of LLMs with minimal setup time. Here is the main motivation for learning the material presented in this video tutorial. For those of you who are not familiar with large language model and machine learning, DeepSeq version 3 is a powerful mixture of experts or MOE language model. According to the test data, and performance data published by people behind DeepSeq version 3, this model outperforms Quant 2.5 72B, Llama 3.1 400B, GPT 400513, and Claude 35 Sonnet. Consequently, it is important to test the performance of DeepSeq V3 and potentially integrate it in your project. And over here you can see the results these hatched, that is these blue rectangles with a hatch, represent the tests of DeepSeq and the other rectangles correspond to other models and you can see the legend over here. However, when you see these results published by people who are behind a certain model, you should always try to take and understand these results with a grain of salt. Namely, every person or every company will try to advertise its model and to say that its model is overperforming or it has a better performance compared to other models. This might be true or sometimes it might not be true. The best thing is to perform tests by yourself. Here are the prerequisites. We tested the quantized version of DeepSeq version 3 on a computer with the following specs. NVIDIA 3090 GPU with 24GB VRAM, 64GB regular RAM memory, Intel i9 processor. As you will see in this video tutorial, DeepSeq version 3 works on this computer, however, the performance is not great. That is, the execution or inference speed is relatively slow. My assumption is that a better GPU, let's say 4090 GPU, that is NVIDIA 4090, and at least 128 gigabyte RAM will dramatically improve the performance. Or maybe even 5090, the new GPU that will come out soon, might even have even better performance. Consequently, if you, for example, were able to install on 4090, I would like to hear from you what is the execution speed and were you able to run the model. Then, you will need Ubuntu 22.04 or Ubuntu 24.04. Then, this is very important, you will need around 220 gigabyte of free space to load and to download the minimal size model. This is the smallest model. I think the largest model might be even around 800 gigabytes. However, for simplicity, in this video tutorial, I will load the smallest model. Then, you also need to install the NVIDIA CUDA Toolkit and NVCC compiler in, all, in order to build llama.cpp from source. And I will explain how to do that, do that in this video tutorial later on. Okay, let's start with installation. The first step is to install NVIDIA CUDA Toolkit. Consequently, open Google and search for NVIDIA CUDA Toolkit. At the top, you should click on the first link, which is the official NVIDIA CUDA Toolkit webpage, then click on download now, then select your operating system Linux, select your architecture, if you have an AMD or an Intel processor, click over here, then select Ubuntu as your operating system, and over here I am running Ubuntu 24.04, and consequently I will click over here, then click on Debian network installation, and here, here is the set of the commands that we need to execute. The next step is to open a Linux terminal and to execute these commands. So let's do that. So I will click here, search for terminal, 
and I'm going to resize this terminal window and I'm going to start executing these commands. Here before we start the execution, let me tell you one very important thing. In addition to this command sudo apt get update, I will also run sudo apt get upgrade in order to update and upgrade everything. So let's start with the first command, copy, paste. Good. Let's do the second one. Copy, paste. Let's now enter the password. Then let's run this one. And in addition to this one, I'm going to type this and sudo apt get upgrade. And here it is. Okay, good. And finally, we need to execute this command. This is the last command that will actually install CUDA Toolkit 12.6. Okay, good. Now, the installation process is not complete. We need to do one very important last step. Consequently, let's go to the home folder and here in the home folder type this. And here you should see this file .bashrc. This is a very important configuration file that specifies the parameters and programs that are being executed every time you start your terminal. So let's edit this file in order to add the path. However, what is the path? The path to our CUDA executable files is given over here. It's in user local CUDA 12.6 don't bin. And we need to modify the path. Consequently, I'm going to copy the name of this file and then I'm going to type sudo nano and then the name of the file. Nano is actually the editor, which is very simple to use. Here it is. Now scroll all the way down. Now, most likely you will not have this path since I have already installed CUDA toolkit. And in case you don't have this path and this line, type this. It's very simple. What you are doing over here, you are actually adding to the path variable this part over here, which is the path to executable of executables of CUDA toolkit. Good. Save this by pressing Control O and then Control X to exit. Now, close the terminal, open a new terminal. And over here in the new terminal, if you type nvcc double dash version, you should see NVIDIA CUDA compiler driver and you should see that it's installed. NVC is NVIDIA CUDA compiler, which is necessary in order to build llama.cpp from source. Next, we need to install git. Consequently, let's execute this command and enter your password. And finally, we need to clone the remote llama.cpp repository. Namely, here is the llama cpp repository. I will click here and this is the main page. I'm going to download all these files and then I'm going to build them locally. So let's do that. Let me bring back the manual. Consequently, we need to type git clone and we need to clone from this address. However, before you do that, make sure that you're in the home folder by typing this. And let's run git clone. And now we are cloning the remote repository. We have actually cloned everything in the folder called llama.cpp. Consequently, let's navigate to this folder by typing this. And if you type this command, you will see the exact copy of all the files from this web page. The next step is to build everything. And here I made several modifications. First of all, here I'm going to build a CUDA version. Consequently, I'm going to execute this command. And this is the first configuration. And let's see what is, what is written over here. Okay, so the CX compiler is being recognized and some other things are being recognized. Okay, build files were written over here. 
And then finally, we need to build everything. To build everything, we need to execute this command. And over here, I added this parameter. This parameter dash g dollar sign and prots means that you will use all the available CPU resources in order to build llama.cpp. Why this is very important? That is why we need to use all the processors. If you're trying to build llama.cpp without this last parameter, it might take even an hour to build everything. However, here I am forcing llama.cpp and build command to use all the computational resources and it might take even a minute or less to build everything. So let's run this and now you can see how fast is the build process. Okay, so let's now be patient. It's going to maybe take 30 seconds or even a minute to build everything. And after approximately several minutes, the files are compiled. Let's now investigate where are the executables. To do that, open files, then let's navigate to llama.cpp and over here, the executables are usually in the build. So click on build and inside you should see the binary folder. And here you need to locate the file called llama-cli. This is the executable file that's used to run different models. So let's try to execute this file. So over here we need to type cd build, then cd binaries, and let's see the file and let's try to execute llama-cli and we should see some response and here is the response saying the following there is no model which is a good sign since we didn't specify the model and another important thing is that llama-cli recognize our nvidia geforce rtx which is really good the next step is to download the model and to copy the model to this folder to download the model you need to go online and you need to go to the Hugging Face website and you need to find this remote repository. So I'm going to copy this part over here and I'm going to simply search it here and you will find it. So Unslot DeepSeq version 3 GGUF. GGUF is a file format that llama.cpp uses to load different models. And over here you have several options and you can see the description. Here, for simplicity, I'm going to download the smallest model. But watch out, the smallest model is around 210 gigabytes. You can see here that this is a two-bit model. That is, the quantization is really, 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 really heavy. Oh yeah, so let's click here and you will be immediately directed to the files. And over here, you need to download this file, this file, this file, this file, this file, the easiest approach is to click here and the download process will start. Then you can click here, here, here and here and you will download all the files over here. Now these files will be stored in the download folder and later on you need to copy it to the appropriate binary folder of llama.cpp. You can see over here that it takes around one hour to download all the files. Consequently you need to be patient and wait for the download process to complete. Once the model files are downloaded, you need to copy them to the appropriate folder. Consequently, from the downloads folder, select all the files and watch out here, the total size is around 220 gigabytes. So I will press Control X to cut them. Then I'm going to go to the llama.cpp build bin, that is to the binary folder, and I'm going to paste all the files over here. Now, let's analyze these files. You can see that there are five files over here, starting from the index one and ending at the index five. To load this model, you just need to specify the name of the first file. So let's do that. Now, over here is the set of the commands that we need to execute. First of all, try to execute this command, namely call llamas CLI, then specify the model name and here's the model name. If for some reason you're not able to run the model or you're running out of the memory, try the second approach. The second approach 
is the same as the first one except for the fact that you will specify over here the cache type which should be Q20. Why Q20? Well because the model we downloaded is a 2-bit model and you can see over here the quantization. So let's start with the first approach. So over here what we need to execute we need to execute this command over here. Now, it might happen that your system will freeze for several seconds and this is completely normal. Watch out, here you're loading a model which has 200 gigabytes and consequently it might take CPU power and GPU power to load everything. Now, there are several other modifications that you can do to speed up everything. You can use these additional parameters, you can specify the threads, for example. And if you use this option, threads, let me show you how the command will look. The command should then look like this. This would be basically fourth approach. I'm going to explain the third one later on. And here it is. And over here you will specify dash dash and then you will say something like this, threads 16. This will kind of speed up the execution of the model, however I didn't test this option with threads. So let me nicely write it here. Okay, now in case that the first, second and this fourth pro approach approaches are not working, you should try the third approach. In third approach, you should try to increase the virtual or swap memory of Linux Ubuntu system and then try to run these commands. I created a separate video tutorial on how to increase the swap memory size of Linux Ubuntu system. A swap memory acts as a virtual RAM memory and enables you to smoothly run your system. I suggest to everyone to increase the swap memory size. For example, if you open over here a program called monitor or system monitor, you should see the resources that are being currently used on my system and over here somewhere you can see the swap memory. Currently I have around 9 gigabyte of swap memory which might be a little bit too little and I might consider to increase this swap memory. And finally let's execute the first option and here it is and that's it and now the model is being loaded okay that's all for today and thanks for